Swoosh. Hello, Slam. Welcome back to the studio. Yeah. You too, what, Andrea. What did you bring in today? This is a Daimler armored car. Is it? Who told you that? Um, a very wise Italian friend of mine, <laughs> uh, who I believe designed this kit. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been designed by an Italian. So what is a Daimler armored car? Um, it is a uh, luxury car. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> let's start again. Um, it's an armored car. Yes! With a turret. With a turret and a gun. And machine guns. And it's quick. It's very quick. Okay. Um, no tracks. No tracks. Yeah. Okay. Suspension. Yep. Suspension. Nice. Yes. And this fought for the British. Yes. Okay. The Desert Wait. Rats. Daimler. Daimler, yes. Daimler so, is a German car company? Apparently not. Okay. He was making stuff for the British back in the days. Aha, aha. So after the crushing defeat in France, the Brits needed several types of new vehicles. And one of these vehicles that they needed was a fast and reliable off-road ratchet car. Awesome. I, so I feel like we all need that. We all life. need that. We yeah. all need a Daimler in our lives. Mm -hmm. So what they came up with were several designs. One of the most popular ones is a Daimler armored car that would see active servers through the 1970s. To the 70s. Yeah. The so 70s? 70s, so yes. was used for very, very, very 30, long time. 35, 40 35 years. 35 years plus, yes. Yeah, wow. So, so, yeah, they designed it with mobility, speed, and a decent firepower in mind. Mm -hmm. They had a cannon and machine guns. Uh, so it saw action in North Africa and was very, very effective. And uh, the desert rats that are depicted here used it very, very often. Point out the desert rat. Yes, desert rats. Yes. So this build, as you said, is full of features. So you already, already showed off my suspension system. It's super cool. Super cool. Always bounces back to center. It's great. Yeah, so it, this thing has like huge, huge wheels. So the, there's lots of clearance between the wheels and the mud guards. And mm -hmm. another feature of this uh, vehicle is the shape of the hull. So I don't know if you can clearly see it with the turret attached, but it's an hexagon. So mm -hmm. basically I, what I did was I just built this the same way I built my engine planes. Yeah, your intakes or your, yeah, your engine cowlings are... This is an engine cowling well, like just to render the hexagon of the... Very from nice. the armored car. So yeah, that was uh, something that was really, really fun to come up with. And of course, the turret spins 360 degrees and opens backwards like the real thing. Which I think is super neat. It's super neat, yeah. So yeah. The, uh, the real thing actually slides back, but this is the same. It can be posed in closed and open position. The gun elevates and presses. Smoke discharger slides. There's all sorts of stuff on this thing. Extra fuel cans that are printed. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some more printing here. You want to show it off? Sure. It's not, a, it's not a huge vehicle. So the only additional thing we did was the engine deck got its little hooks and handles and uh, the vents, I believe those are vents. And of course, some standard British markings like the desert rat on the front and back, the red and white stripes that you see all through desert British vehicles, and a little vision port on the front there. Which is a very, very, very cool yeah. detail through the prints, through the, yeah. through the through A little the cross plates. element print across the plate and the tile, so that's always fun. It comes with a shovel for when you get it stuck, yeah. because that happens all the time and in a the spare desert. tire. Just in case. Just in case you got shot in the tire. And Amanda put together a very, very nice British tanker. So this guy has a cool sweater, very worn out look, some color shifting on the upper torso and a brand new desert tanker, beret. 
with print with headphones on it. Yeah, with so headphones. Great. It's a very, very good addition to your British Army. And that's so, just a classic, that's a great jumper. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. They had all sorts of jumpers back yeah. in the desert. I don't know why they were jumpers in the desert. It's cold over half the time. Over, and it's super hot uh, the other half. Right, you don't need a jumper during the day. Yeah. <laughs> but in the morning and at night, yeah, you you're might cold. need one. Yeah, makes sense. So, this is part of our uh, North Africa lineup. Uh, it's been very popular through the months, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any question about this or any other of our models, Slam will ask each and every one of you on social media, day and night. I, w I look forward to your questions and comments. All right, let's swoosh out of here. We'll see you next time.